All right, we're gonna get right into this one, right? Because no one's really talking about this, so I thought I would just kind of dust up the, the, the YouTubes with it, okay? Uh, first off, I wanna talk about experience, okay? Because experience means a lot. Uh, Stacy and I, we lived in the city like a lot of y'all, and 13 years ago, we left the city and we decided to live debt-free. Like, we didn't wanna have any Visa, MasterCards, no car payments, no payments at all on nothing, right? Not even, well, we even went with no electric payment, no sewer payment, no garbage disposal payment, no uh, natural gas payment, you know, because we got rid of all of our bills because we live 100% off grid. We live 100% off rainwater. And when we made the move and transitioned into from city life into country life, one of our main goals, okay, was to break free from the debt slavery that we were in, right? Now, I know I'm, maybe a lot of you guys don't think about it as slavery, and it depends on how you use debt. Now, they never teach you guys about money. They never taught me about money. And I had to learn the stuff on my own. And the older that I get, the more that I understand. <laughs> so when you're young and you're getting debt and you're buying Reebok tennis shoes and the latest phones and, you know, clothes and maybe even food for your table and you're putting that on your credit cards, that's a losing game right there. You're never going to get out of that. You're never going to get ahead. You're never going to win. And rich people the people that know how to manage money and that have been taught about money that's not how they operate okay they don't have any debt like that no credit cards like that all their money is geared towards assets either creating businesses or buying real estate so if they get into any kind of a um, loan situation that loan is actually leverage to help them financially and whereas the mass amount of Americans, I can't speak for y'all in other countries, but a mass amount of Americans, they live paycheck to paycheck and they get credit cards to just finance dumb stuff. And then they get into a thing where they get four or five of these credit cards going and a lot of dumb stuff and they have no assets and then it just ends bad, right? You have to be bankrupt or you, you, know, you lose all your stuff or you're constantly having to do things that you don't like to do, work the job that you don't like to work and wear things that you don't like to wear because you're in debt, right? Because debt is a form of slavery. And so the latest thing, which no one's really talking about, is because of all the hyperinflation that we're going through here in America right now, household debt is screaming off the chart, y'all. I'm gonna share a, a story. Uh, household debt store soars at 15 year high, the Fed report says. Now, you know guys, they're tracking all your, uh, not particularly your individual money movement, but they're just checking out your spending habits and how much debt you have and how, you know, they, they track all of this consumer stuff. Household increased debt at the fastest pace in 15 years due to hefty increases in credit card usage and mortgage balances. Maybe some of y'all too got into the refi, refi, refi game and then that's gonna catch up to you too. The credit card balances collectively rose more than 15% from the same period in 2021. The largest annual jump in more than 20 years according to the New York Fed. This increase stems from a combination of robust consumer demand and higher prices. I would say it's mostly higher prices because they already know that most Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Now you introduce this inflation that we're going through, and so people can't stretch that dollar as good, so they're turning to those credit cards, right? And they're volunteering to sign up for slavery and for a life that maybe is making you sick because you're stressed out all the time and you have to go to work all the time to pay the bills for those credit cards, right? Just so you can eat. And the cycle just keeps going, y'all. I can just share our, our story about how we broke free from it when we sold everything, we moved to property, we started growing our own food, we didn't have any bills, all of our bills decreased, our life decreased, you know, like the things that we thought we needed decreased, and then it became necessities. And then out of that abundance of paying attention, being more intentional, right, it's freed us up now as we saved for all these years and you know we could kind of do what we want to do but it's a it's a transition that you have to go through and it can be kind of scary <laughs> households increases debt during the third quarter the fastest pace in 15 years total debt jump 
by 351 billion for July to September period, the largest nominal quarterly increase since 2007, bringing a collective household IOU in the US to a fresh record $16.5 trillion. That's an increase of 2.2% from the previous quarter and 8.3% from just a year ago. Holy smokes, you guys. All right, so this is where I'm going to give you a Uncle Doug advice. If you guys are watching this video, maybe you've you know, never seen our channel before. We live in a log cabin. We live off grid on 11 acres. We grow most of our own food. We poop in buckets. We are the ungovernable. And one of the major things uh, catapults or, or one of the major you know pieces to your puzzle one of the major things that you have to consider is getting out of debt and if you are gonna get into that I would suggest it only for dirt like just get dirt if you can sell everything and maybe you have to get a couple thousand dollar ten thousand twenty whatever it is a mortgage on some dirt so you can live this homesteading life that would be good investment you know for an asset buying the latest phone and having the latest cool shoes those are not good investments but i do understand that you guys are struggling out there and just trying to put food on the table and now your energy prices are going up and all the stuff is manufactured by the way it just came out of thin air okay they just ginned it up you have germany over there right they're going back to coal right now they're saying no thank you they've actually bowed out of the uh petroleum part of the Paris Accords they said we, we just can't do it so we're all in on the petrol uh, you guys do what you want to do so there's a lot of things going on that I'm going to talk about in coming up videos uh, but I just wanted to stress in this one that I hope you guys are being intentional with your funds don't get into the trick bag of having all this debt keep an eye on everything that's going on none of this stuff is going away I'm gonna to try to get these more stories out I'm visiting my granddaughter Stacy and I had dinner with her last night for the first time that we held her and everything it was so cute she's so cute so we'll have, I'm gonna have some pictures in the next video I didn't think about it on this one right here but I'll have some pictures in the next video of our new granddaughter Arlette and then uh, we're just gonna keep trying to help you all navigate through what we're going on you know what's going on in our country right because we either have to uh, adapt or we die so we have to just kind of keep trying to stay ahead of it and trying to think of our workarounds and kind of collectively stay together and i think we'll be going to be okay uh, but we just got to stay focused right but a number one uncle doug says get rid of your debt it's a total form of slavery and once you do you're going to feel <sighs> you're going to just feel good about it Hello. Hello. Stacy likes the peacocks. I'm, she's trying to get a peacock on the homestead, but I ain't having it. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm just trying to help you guys navigate through all this stuff. Stay debt free, just like uh, Dave Ramsey taught you. If you're not good with your money, right, which a lot of us aren't, it took us a long time to get it figured out. But uh, if you're not good with your money, stay out of debt, okay? That's a sucker's bet. Staying in debt equals slavery for you guys, and then all they're doing is running up the prices. Then they're gonna raise up your interest rates. See how that all works, man? They're just sucking all the money out of your pockets on every avenue right now. Fake gas lies. Fake coal lies, fake power lies, everything's fake. And they're doing it just to, they're just compliance. Remember when the seatbelt laws came out and the, why no one was really clicking on to the seatbelts? And then what they do, they started coming out with all these fines and they pull you over and give you a ticket for not wearing your seatbelt, see? In the elitist minds, they think that they can, you know, basically charge you into compliance right they're gonna force you and they're gonna they're gonna raise the gas prices up so much that you're just gonna have electric cars on your mind so much and it's such a lie but they're gonna they're gonna they're they're doing it right now they're working on you and they're just trying to make you believe the lie through all these added outside pressures okay so just stay focused y'all and hopefully we'll be able to be a light for you and we'll keep navigating you through all this stuff and, and kind of keeping you abreast of the situations right but number one a uh, number one right now is no spending money on any dumb stuff 
okay if you're gonna get some property and get some dirt that's a good place to spend some money and go into debt if you're gonna go out and get the latest tennis shoes or a new cell phone or something that's probably not the best thing to use your money on if you're trying to buy food with your credit cards and stuff right now maybe look into growing food coming up this year right make really get serious on growing some food for yourself okay there might come a time where you can't get food if you don't have a passport more videos to come on that all right make sure you hit that thumbs up pound that uh, subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and we'll see you guys on the next video I'm gonna try to bring you more of these stories as we're traveling here we're seeing our granddaughter Arlette <laughs> such a cutie we had a good time last night and I'll show you guys some pictures on the next video okay uh, we'll see you guys later and man just stay vigilant out there all right so I'm just getting ready to sit down and edit this video yeah and I, no I'm talking to the the homestead homies oh. and i wanted to just remind you guys that if you get into debt real heavy right now this is not a good time to get into debt real heavy right now and finance a lot of stuff on your credit card that you don't need to be doing because what's also going to be happening right now and going into winter and then coming into spring is a lot of layoffs so you have maybe a false sense of security about the job that you have and you could walk in and not have that job so it's going to create a lot of extra stress for you and your family right so just another word from Uncle Doug before we get out of here is just do your best to get out of debt. Like make that top priority A number one and then to be real intentional with your spending and looking at your money and where it goes. Okay? All right. I just wanted to drop that in there real quick before I get on the computer here and send it out into the world.